Martin. And now the Thunder hustle into the Maverick zone. Up the left side, Fournier. He races into the left wing corner. Centers. No one can get the shot away. Jacob Graves sets it up in a shot. Oh, what a tremendous cage. Hustling to grab it off the wall. Zach Osborne. I don't think the Thunder players saw it there in a long lead effort. A semi breakaway for Fournier. Fournier shot sliding across to intercepted by Crawford, who trickles at the end of the Thunder zone. Wichita takes it back and set up in front. Fournier a shot kicked away, standing his ground. Nick Schneider. Schmitz deals it to the left point in a long shot. Ulett got a piece of that. And on the rebound, Ricci back ends behind the goal. Now claiming it back to the net. Rocco Carzo wristed to Malcolm Hayes. Hayes a slap shot. Puck goes wide and a score! Malcolm Hayes fired up a tender's left to fire it home. Tad Cozen, so Cozen gets the goal. In picking up his first point as a Maverick. Now Vanderlyn held it in momentarily. Now Wichita gains it. Shoveled on the left side. Parkin in the end of the zone. He scores. Patrick Parkin stretches Twine with 20 seconds to go in the opening period. And that Mavericks lead very short-lived. It came one minute and 50 seconds after Cozen had given the Mavericks the lead. The cage. Mavericks keep it in. Whistle to the blue line to the right point. Now sent off into the right wing corner. Puck travels around the wall. And there is Tad Cozen. Left for Pratt to centered. C.J. Ike beside it. And a score! Oh, my gosh. A hole with just about one 357th of a millimeter to squeeze that puck in. CJ found it, he scored in the Mavericks lead two to one. Two minutes and 29 seconds into the back to the blue line, moving forward, Salvaggio, a shot of save, scrambled for it, comes to the blue line, keeping it on Sha Sean Allen, knocked away from him and moving goalward, Matt Schmalls, Schmalls wristed it just wide. Off to RC4, now to the left point it goes, Amorosa sails it off to the right point to the blue line, Osborne didn't get much of a shot, a score! Oh my gosh, that went off the stick of Osborne and redirecting it home, Matt Schmalls. And you'd heard, you heard me say that Osborne didn't get much on that shot, but you know what Wayne Gretzky said, you don't score on 100% of the shots that you don't take, and Matt Schmalls was there to have it go off it from Morasti up the left wing. Loren Ulett into the zone. A left back for Schmalls who springs it to Ulett. He gives to Malcolm Hayes. Centering effort kicked aside and the rebound. A shot of save. The rebound. Oh, he, being robbed was. But it caroms to Rocco Carzo who gives to Amorosa. Centered and a score. Well. If you have one that uh, is ruled no goal, you keep trying, and sometimes you get it back. Tad Cozen, his second goal and third point of the game. And the Mav wing wall. And semi-breakaway for Salvaggio in front. Oh, and sliding in front and getting a stick on that was Marcus Crawford. What a move. Now a rocket cut by Schneider, and he holds on. And Marcus Crawford, who made that tremendous play for the Mavericks, Charlie O'Connor. Up the right side, the Thunder into the Maverick zone. Banked off the boards and into the right wing corner. Malcolm Hayes loses possession of it. A point blank shot and a save and the rebound, a score. Mavericks lead has been shortened to 4-2 to two as the Thunder light the lamp with 10.44 to go in the third period. I think it was Billy Excel who scored, he scored a shorthanded goal earlier this season against the Mavericks. Nine minutes and 16 seconds to the right wing corner in the Mavericks zone as it's battled for along the wall. Chris Crane in back of the cage, a wrap around and a score. Mm. It is a one goal lead now for the Mavericks. 
It was either Crane or Fournier. As they show it on the board, it was Stephen Fournier. And that has the Kelsa, but they certainly did not want the Oilers to pick up a point in the standings. As the Oilers, Thunder, and Rapid City teams, they must pass to get in the playoffs. Set up in front, and a score! Oh my gosh, a big, big goal by one of the smallest players on the team, C.J. Ike, and the Mavericks lead now back to two, five to three. Matt Small centered it and swiping that puck out of the air and in.